Hello everyone, uh, this is my newest video on my channel. Today I'm wearing the Hogley stripes by Hogley jersey once again. Uh, by the time I'm recording this video, uh, it's a couple of hours before Hogley plays. Uh, so the video will be out after the game, but so I can't make any score predictions because you see the game only after so uh, but the video is about Togli and its connections with players and NHL uh, today was an important day for me as in my personal blog as well I made an interview with uh, the chief scout of Hogli, uh Christoph Malm uh, which is a very nice guy as well had the chance to meet him in person uh, a couple times uh, it made him really nice interview for Brazilian hockey fans uh, to get to know a little bit of how is the work of a scout in the hockey team uh, and he made a lot of he gave me a lot of lessons of scouting and things as well because I am a person that I'm looking very forward to work with hockey but let's get things started because this video as you can you guys can see in the title is about Hogley connections towards NHL and Hogley, which is my Swedish ice hockey team. They are from Angelholm and south part of Sweden, uh, Skåne, and it's known for producing a lot of good hockey players. And we have a lot of ties with different NHL teams uh, towards our players. And right now we have. A lot of current ties with NHL teams we have ties in the past but we have a lot of ties right now so I'll just list a couple of those and maybe you guys uh, because I'll post this in different groups of different NHL teams and also in the Hogra seat which is the Hogla group in Facebook and maybe you guys can comment a couple of those that people will uh, remember after this I made a list that I will go over and first of all because I've been posting a lot about the New York Rangers and the Arizona Coyotes on this because those are my favorite teams uh, particularly on the Arizona Coyotes because they do have a guy that's playing on their main team that scored last night uh, Mario Campi uh, which played the season with the with Hogla uh, he's not a product of Hogle, but he played the season uh, in, in our main team. Uh, I believe he has played with a sports, a sports chef currently, which is general manager in Swedish, a sports chef, uh, Chris Abbott. He has mentioned that before. And his contract is running out in the end of the season. He could be a good, a good addition for Hogle in the next season if Arizona decides to not resign him. Uh, we have a couple other Hogley players uh, that are playing in HL right now. Uh, a good guy that plays played in Toro Hogley that's playing in NHL right now that has a terrific contract it's down in the south is Hampus Lindholm uh, that plays defense for the Anaheim Ducks. Very good very good player uh, had a rough season with a couple injuries but was a world champion with Sweden in the world championships uh, last season and has did, has had a decent start to his NHL career and uh, there's a couple of surprises if you look at, uh, at, per, at for example at uh, New York Rangers uh, most people don't know that uh, uh, Henrik Landrikus actually played a season in his junior career at Hogle and during a season in the local he came back to Hogle to play in an All-Star game against Kenny Johnson team. Uh, uh, Kenny Johnson which is a former New York Islander and it's, it's uh, 
if, you, if you're a New York Rangers fan, you might not like it, but Roger Johnson, it's, it's, it's one of the greatest hockey players of all time. And they also drafted a kid that used to play for Hogley. Right now he's uh, playing the US ATL. It's Simon Yelberg. He was in the Hogley under 20 teams. Uh, he was drafted seventh round. And now he's in the prospect pools of the New York Rangers playing in the US. Uh, we also have in the main team of the uh, Hogler team that we have Lucas Alvinis, which is a prospect from the Vegas Golden Knights. He actually has a contract signed with the Vegas Golden Knights, so uh, he's currently on loan to Hogler, so I wouldn't expect him to return next season, but he's a very good player. and. There are other players that uh, Toronto has a tons of former Hogler players. Uh, uh, there's Timon Liljegren that they drafted, and they drafted two defensemen from Hogler two years in a row. They drafted Timon Liljegren, and they drafted Rasmus Sandin, and they have Robert Rosand, which played for Hogler. Uh, it's now with now is in the Toronto Marlies. And if I'm not wrong, Andreas Borgman, I'm, I, I would have to double check, but if I'm not wrong, Andreas Borgman has played a season uh, by Hogler. But I'm pretty sure Hubert Rosen played for Hogler. I'm not sure, I, ha I would have to check about Andreas Borgman, but I'm pretty sure Robert Rosen has played. But they drafted two defensemen from Hogler two years in a row. So they have still two defense two years in a row. And we have a prospect which is played for us last season, Matthias Fromm from Denmark, uh, which now plays for AAK uh, in the Hockey Osmundstown. Uh, used to play for Hogley. Uh, he was drafted by the Chicago Blackhawks. We used to have a couple of guys, uh, one from Denmark and another from Sweden, a couple of guys that, that were drafted by. St. Louis Blues, I think there was uh, Gustav Olver and uh, the, I'm not sure if he was drafted by Colorado Avalanche or St. Louis Blues, but they're, they're both gone now. And there's a lot of guys that played for the team that were actually drafted, but none of them signed. Uh, we have, in, the net, in our net right now, we have Justin Poggi. Uh, Justin Poggi was actually a first round draft pick by the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, which people think that uh, they probably was a wasted draft pick but Justin Poggi has been playing really well in the SHL uh, we have had since I mentioned Henry Lundqvist Joel Lundqvist his twin brother uh, which he was drafted by the Dallas Stars and didn't spend much time in NHL. And I was in Frolunda, of course, played with his brother also in junior hockey, uh, also in Hungary for a small t uh, part of his career. Uh, the current uh, Chicago Blackhawks head coach, I say current, because you never know what might happen in the National Hockey League these days. A lot of head coaches being fired here and there. Jeremy Colton uh, has played with Hogley for a season. And I would have to go player by player, but I'm pretty sure we have other players that have been drafted. I'm just having to go through my mind right now which other player would have been drafted. I'm pretty sure Shira isn't, uh, Cody Curran was not. I'm pretty sure Cody Curran played uh, in Hartford and um, in Greenville, which are affiliated by the New York Rangers. But 
I'm not sure if he ever signed an NHL actual contract. He's a tremendous player, but I'm not sure if he ever signed an actual NHL contract. And Willie Kopanen, I don't think, has ever been drafted by an NHL team. Um, and then we have a couple of Canadian guys in our current squad. Uh, if I'm not, if I'm not being totally wrong, I, I believe Taylor Matson, which is an Hoglay team, was drafted by the Vancouver Canucks. Ended up never signing with them. Uh, played in University of Minnesota uh, and played there his only. Uh, university college career uh, before coming over to Europe and there's a lot of guys that have made their transition and we have had also another Toronto Maple Leafs connection uh, William Nylander played for Hogley in a very briefly low on spell to Hogley during the season and Alec, his brother Alex Nylander, which was drafted by the Buffalo Sabres, uh, he was supposed, he was reportedly supposed to play for Hogley. He had a contract to play for Hogley, but the year he was drafted by the Sabres, the Sabres decided that they preferred him to play in the American Hockey League, and he basically never made it in the NHL level just yet. He played just a couple league games in NHL and he's been in the Rochester Americans the whole time. So that's basically the list I've made up. Uh, if you remember other names uh, of Hoglu players and Hoglu connections to NHL teams, uh, you can just write in the comments and if you please liked it, this video. Please leave your like, share if you if you want, to, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Comment in the section below uh, if you have any suggestions as well to the, my next video. And I see you guys in my next one.